me things like how high I am, how fast I'm going, uh, and also where I am relative to places on the ground. Mm -hmm. uh, the controls uh, are very much like the ones you'd see in a, a fixed wing airplane, with the exception of this one, which makes me go straight up and straight down. The rest of the controls all work the same. Is it fun to fly a helicopter? It's a lot of fun, Fran. Why do you, why do you enjoy it? Well, because it, uh, I suppose because it's so much different from a fixed-wing uh, airplane, you can do more in a helicopter, I think, and uh, get involved in some more uh, more interesting uh, pastimes. Now we know that this is smaller than the usual kind of um, aircraft or airplane that a child would travel in with their mother or father from city to city. Does it fly as high up? No, much slower. Most helicopters operate close to the ground because that's where the helicopter's work is. So he'll stay closer to the ground than the, the kind of aircraft that most people are used to. I see. And does it fly as fast? Uh, no, because of the, the uh, problems involved in the uh, aerodynamics or the, the way the air works on a helicopter, uh, it has to go slower. And usually most helicopters are limited to less than, we'll say, 200 miles an hour. Well, we are looking at the helicopter now from the tip at the front to the tail at the very back. Tell us some of the things that we are looking at. Okay. Uh, the whirling thing on top there that makes all the noise is the main rotor. And that's actually like a, a fixed wing aircraft's wings. It does the job of making lift, making the airplane fly. Going further back, you can see uh, the main body of the aircraft. Right now, we're sitting in the cockpit at the very front, but the main body or fuselage of the airplane is where we keep all the equipment in the helicopter and, and of course, the crew, if we're carrying a crew. And as we keep going back, you can see another uh, uh, disc or whirling disc on the back that's called a tail rotor mm -hmm. and that's an important part of the helicopter because it keeps the helicopter from spinning in the opposite direction to that big main rotor spinning on top of it right you wouldn't want to do that that's that's for sure <laughs> yeah, we try and avoid that is the sea king bigger than most usual helicopters this is one of the bigger helicopters yes it weighs quite a bit it weighs about this the same as a bus and it transports people just like a, a bus does too well now let's have a look inside of the helicopter what is a special piece of equipment called? This is called a Billy Punet, Fran, and uh, it's named after the, the man who invented it. And what is it used for? We use it uh, in rescue operations to scoop people out of the water. Well, I thought it would be interesting now if we could pretend that I was lost in the water and this is going to pick me out and uh, hoist me up back into the helicopter. Okay. You all set? Sure. Okay, we'll pretend that this down here is water. Even You can go for it. All right. <laughs> Even though <laughs> it's not. I just landed on this. Sorry. Okay. Now, what do I do? Okay, well, this would come down and be lowered into the water, or very close to the water, okay. and hopefully you'd be conscious enough to uh, jump into it without hurting yourself. Ready? <laughs> That's it. Okay. And all you see, all, you only have to fall into it, and we can raise you from there. You don't even have to be uh, uh, uninjured. You could you could have a broken arm, for example, really? and still, still fall in there. Sort of wild. Exactly, and we'd hoist you up and, and drag you inside the helicopter. That's great. And what is this attached to? Well, you can see just above is the rescue hoist, and that's uh, part of the machinery in the aircraft that we used to hoist you up with. Mike, thanks very much for helping me pretend that I'm being rescued from the water and for telling us all about helicopters. That was really interesting. Thank you, Fran. It was my pleasure. And now it's your turn to use your imagination. We're going to go back to the romp room school and pretend all together that we are in a great big romp room helicopter. Here we go.